approach playing him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I would say so. And also, like, the lab heavy part, I would say, like, as people from Europe, we normally don't have as many players in our regions and not as many good players. Mm. So I feel like that mentality is even more important. Mm. And if you want to put it on a US scale as well, like PPMD is the one of like the original gods that had the worst region he was coming from. And you can see kind of like that mentality from him as well. Right. It's uh, making the best of the situation you do have pretty much. And as background to this match, I just, I'm looking at the bracket and Nikki defeated Char Charlon 3-1 and Nebi 3-0. He oh, beat okay. Nebi 3-0. That's why he is here. That's impressive. Yep. So, very good showing by Nikki so far. And for those who are not familiar, Nebi is, uh, you know, formerly known as Avalancers, the, the Yoshi that I think a lot of you guys have seen clips of. I've taken matches off of your Armada, right? Yeah. Yeah, he took a game of me at uh, a tournament in Holland about a year ago, slightly more. Excuse me, took match off of you? <laughs> a game? Well, since it was only one set, that's still, you know, <laughs> that's what Amsa did twice as well. Mm -hmm. So Nikki, at least from what I've seen, the, the only the only matches that I've seen of him are just against us in the cruise, and you know, he kind of destroyed R2 Dilu to be frank, and R2 Dilu I know of as a very good Fox Hitler, so mm. um, just from that, and from what I've seen so far, yeah, like, he looks solid. Like, he is a methodical, calculated player overall. Mm -hmm. Never really... I would say never really goes for anything too crazy. Always sticks to the solid punishes that he knows and... The Swedish Bible? Yeah. <laughs> is there is there anything that um, Nikki does in particular that uh, he's, you know, more kind of known for? Hmm. I would say he often jokes that he built a career off of Shield Drop Shine. Ah, okay. Because uh, in Germany they have lots of um, ICs, basically. Ah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And yeah. um, he he often says that his career was built off of beating all the German ICs all the time, basically. But I he's he's grown into more than that. I don't see that being very useful against Peach, to no. be honest. So. Yeah, no, it, it's not, it's not. And also, I disagree with the choice he did that with the down throw. You, no, just throw Peach off stage. She is bad mm. off stage. Mm. There you oh, go. There we go. 118 is quite a deficit against Peach, especially on this stage, I think. Um, he has to get a lot of uh, just solid like exchanges, or he has to win a lot of solid exchanges to bring it back, and look, he's lost a stock, so this is... <laughs> Some people say one stock is not elite. I feel like it's especially a elite in, <laughs> in this matchup. Peach, yeah. I mean, do you, do you think so, or maybe not? Yeah, no, I, I think it is for sure. Uh, but I do think most Fox's punish game is really underdeveloped as well. Yeah. Uh, it could be pushed much further. It's very few Foxes where I feel like they have punishes that I super, super have to respect. Mm. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Looked like he was going for a crouch, but... Triple's hitting with the weak nair, so I think he got Sakura angled, where you get like more, more lag pretty much after mm. you get hit. Yeah, Sakura angle is super strange. Oh, a little bit low there. I don't think Nikki has been doing too bad in neutral. It's just that I don't feel like he's really capitalized all that much compared to Triff. Oh, oh that's that good. was. <laughs> yeah, no reason not to. Yeah. Be as, as long as you have two stocks and they have one, as long as you secure the kill, you win the game. Mm -hmm. Now, I feel like with Fox, like you said, you know, doing okay in neutral, but it doesn't feel like his neutral is tailored towards getting big punishes off of Peach. Like with, with Fox, it's like you need to hit like drills and shines and grabs. Like It feels like those are the three, right? Yeah, I would probably replace grab with Nair, but the other two I totally agree with. Nair, Nair interesting. Nair at like 30, 30 ish can be really devastating, especially if you catch Peach on her way up trying to like come up to a float. Oh, I see. Okay, so so you don't like um, as Fox going for grab that much against Peach? No, I don't think it gives as much these days. Oh. It can if you catch Peach off guard, but even if you do, you normally get one upper and that's it. Mm. Occasionally get more uh, if you happen to be in the right place, you land on the side platform. Uh, but I would say Nair traditionally gets more. Hmm. 
And so I guess, like, you know, thinking about it from, like, your perspective as Peach, like, what, what do you think, like, Leffen's, per like, how does he approach the matchup? Is it more, like, offensive, counterpunish? Like, how do you want to approach it? The thing is, when he plays super play to win, it's a lot of lasers mm. trying to attack as I'm trying to attack. Mm. Uh, but he also knows how to play the matchup really aggressively, for sure. Mm. Uh, it's kind of like a myth where you can't play aggressive against floaties. I think you really can. Uh, it's just like... Especially as a character slower as Peach, it's easier traditionally to go for a more passive, weight heavy style. But you can play both for sure. And when I play Leffen in friendlies, he normally plays more aggressive. I think it's more because he wants to like practice like all the more tighter executions rather oh, than just like laser. Oh, what is he I doing see. down there? <laughs> cool, thank you for your insight. Oh. Do, do we agree with him coming down here again? No, no this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> his reward is getting like one stock when Trith has 160. But the risk is him like dying or eating a lot of damage. Right. I do think Foxes should go in more though when they have high damage and characters they can uh, infinite towards the wall when they have low damage. Because then the risk reward is very skewed in your favor. Hmm. I, I remember there was one match where Mango did that against you, and I'm like, Mango, don't go in there. But then I realized, like, that was actually a good idea because that was the situation that you brought up, so. Yeah, especially, like, if you are behind almost a full stock, then why not? If you win, even if it's slightly harder, you know, to attack. Like, because at Stadium, you have, like, certain positions, oh. and someone is guarding one part of the stage. Right. But if you have high damage, I think it's worth it most of the time. Man. Oh, Saturn is still here. Okay. Just hanging around. Uh. It really just feels like Nikki is having a really hard time getting in cleanly. Yeah, he, he wasn't ready to punish the dash attack, which I think, like, you know, maybe Leffen might have uh, gotten, like, an up smash or a grab or something. Yeah. Ooh. I think he's just... I think he's playing a little bit intimidated, basically, in neutral. I mean, if you're not familiar with the Peach matchup, if it's not... If a I lot of like the little things aren't autopilot, it's very easy to get intimidated, right? Yeah, but I would think he is familiar in the Peach matchup, considering how many Peach players Germany actually has. Like, oh, overall. I didn't know that. Okay. They have like Kellner, Blaze, they used to have Fex. They have some solid Peach players. Obviously, no one on Triff's level, but still should be enough of like a... Are sure they are from the same region within Germany? Because my knowledge... Yeah, that's true. Germany bad. is a big country, so... Ted up for almost kills. Yeah. At the top right there. Man. Still no kill. Oh no, got pushed off the, the platform. And oh, dash chance grab. Man, Triff is just shutting him down so hard right now. That should yeah. be it. Nah, that was too late. <laughs> Tell him, Adam. If you're a bit too late, you should just do the aerial. It's normal, but a really, really early aerial, so you can jump after and still make it back. But he was still up by so much, it didn't really matter too much. Oh my god, is that Blur? Oh yeah, that's Blur. He said he, blur. That blur? he said he was going to make it to what? the final day. Hello, Blur. Oh no. I, you know, I really like um, what Triff has been doing a lot, which is just like uh, floating and then coming down and just doing a down smash. Um, when I think Nikki's expecting an aerial a lot of times, I think that's been uh, netting Triff a lot of damage there. Also, that uh, wave shine up smash uh, Nikki was doing, at fairly low damage, about 20, 25 ish before the up smash, you can actually hold down, tech to up smash, and get a down smash or grab before Fox can even buff her shield or shine. Oh, no way. Yeah, no, you can do it with every, every character. You can wave shine, you can like do a fast option afterwards. Uh, Nun is doing that a lot, for example. And I remember <laughs> telling S2J the same thing, and he has started to do it as well. Ah, uh, I see. So if Leffen and S2J plays later today, if Leffen goes for an up smash, I wouldn't be too surprised to see S2J tech it and then go for a grab. But Leffen would know not to do that, right? Or maybe maybe he does do that because he assumes... That s might not know it. That us ignorant Americans don't know, pal. <laughs> uh, the thing is, you can do it in NTSC too. It's just like slightly lower damage when it, uh, you know, stops working. Totally, totally, yep. But the thing is also, it's one of these things that requires pretty tight timing and pretty weird timing because it's way earlier than you might have expected. So a lot of people, despite knowing it, fail it pretty often. Hmm. So I feel like as the Fox, they need to prove that they can tech it. Because if they can't, why should you stop doing Dub Smash? Totally. Ooh.
this was the first time that Nikki had had gotten a lead, but it pretty much evaporated really fast. Uh oh yeah, he yeah he is behind now. But you know, um, when we talked about it in the beginning, like uh, you were saying, Leffen shoots a lot of lasers. Um, mm. Maybe uses that to force Peach to approach. And I think Nikki's been doing a little bit more of that. Um, haven't really seen much of that until this point. So maybe that's a good start. But you know, he's got a lot to make up right now. Yeah, the thing is also when you do play the laser game, you need. You need to show the Peach, or any character for that matter, that you are willing and you know how to approach when the opportunity comes up. Yeah. Because if you only sit back and doing lasers and you're really afraid to go in at all times, you don't really have to be afraid for anything mm. as the Peach in this particular case. Oh, that's uh, what Ooh. we saw from Eyes earlier. Yeah, Down nice. to beating the up beat. One thing you can play around it as Peach is to space your up beat further out. The thing is, the fox can overshoot it to still beat it, but it's the mix-up you do have. Mm. Oh, you know that was that was a chance from from Nikki, but it looked like uh, Triff might have gotten some smash DI or like ASDI on that drill at the end. Mm. Oh, oh no! no. Yeah. Oh. oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dash attack, it beats the panic option. Pretty good to throw off once in a while. And another one. Ooh, ooh that was an interesting hard read. Yeah, the thing is, Peach's up smash actually beats everything Fox has. Uh, like, like he's coming down? from above, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Like, it straight up beats Falco's downer, for example. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it is yes, an interesting option. I'd say one of Truth's best attributes as a player is his uh, defense overall. His spacing is fantastic. Yeah. It's so many times where you feel like you can hit him, but you actually can't. Yeah, because he just like perfectly wave dashes back exactly like just to avoid your move. But he also has this thing where he gets hit by like like weak moves at low percent, and he manages to just wave dash back like landing on the ground. It's pretty crazy. Ooh. Oh, oh, good. Oh. Wow. All right, all right. Oh, no. Oh, oh. he got caught. Oh, oh. what a read. A bear? The roll. Oh, okay. Not, Triff not opting to, to further the combo there, just getting the, the clean hit. I think he thought he was going to hit him the other way, maybe. Yeah, probably. But the thing is also, if you have a stock lead, sometimes taking the very safe damage oh. is uh, what a lot of people prefer. It's like you're extending your lead quite a bit guaranteed, rather sure. than going for a super hard thing that might give you a bigger lead. And that should be it, yeah. Yep. Damn. And that is it. 3-0. Very convincing. Also, one thing I want to point out there at the end, it didn't really matter because it was the last stock, but Fox's up B uh, is not only shorter in PAL, but the hitbox is also worse. So mm. trading with Peach's fair against Fox's up B is way harder in PAL. Mm. 